Garbage litter. Garbage litter's in Chicago. They're littering on the side of the highway. The strangler is littering. Garbage litter. They're throwing garbage out their window. Next time, use a trash can. And it's not a convenient trash can. The world is not a convenient trash can. Your own convenient trash can. No dumping in the drains. Litter. Garbage litter's in Chicago. All over the side of the road. The garbage men have to come and get the litter. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. They have to lit that pick up the garbage litter. They have to take the litter away. It's over on the side of the fence in Chicago. By the highway and the, the garbage trucks have to come out and get it. The garbage trucks. Garbage litter. Jay saying, don't use the your your litter as a convenient trash can, your own convenient tra- personal trash can. Put it in a dumpster. The rats will get a garbage can. Litter, litter, garbage litter is all in Chicago, garbage litter. The strangler throws garbage litter on the side of the road to get the ticket for throwing it up. On the side of the road, on the highway, garbage litter, street sweeper has to go out and get it. Garbage litter. Don't use the, don't use your garbage as an inconvenient trash can, your own personal trash can in the world. They get a ticket. My chief Wiggum, garbage litter. Garbage litter. Litter. They litter. They throw litter. In the hi- on the highway, garbage litter. Litter. Garbage litter. Garbage. Litter on the highway, they get a ticket. Lovington Park in Chicago, and they throw litter. All over the road, you're gonna have to pick the litter up. They throw masks on the side of the road. Garbage litter. Litter. It's not your personal own trash can. The sewer is not a convenient trash can with it. They store it in the garbage litter. They throw it on the side of the road. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. It's, you don't throw your debris. You leave couches, no dumping. In the, in the, in the in Chicago area. Garbage litter. They throw garbage bottles out there. Garbage. Don't throw bottles out your window, Bill Ball. So it's with Jay Pinks. And throws it at Bucktooth because he the glass bottle at Bucktooth because he threw it out the car window. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. It's not your convenient trash can. Don't throw your cigarette out the out the door in Chicago. Garbage litter in Chicago. Garbage litter. Don't litter. Don't throw your son's dirty diaper out the car window. That's gross. Jay says. Garbage litter. It's not a convenient trash can. It's not your own personal trash can. Garbage litter's all over. By the fence in Chicago in the alleyway. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. Garbage litter. Personally, it makes me feel yucky. It's like a dump. But a garbage dump, it's not. It's actually private property in Chicago's Chatham neighborhood lined with trash. Piles and piles of it stretching about a city block. And people who shop in nearby stores look ridiculous. Can't help but notice. It need to be cleaned up. I, I, I won't live with this. It's like, it's like you don't care. The debris field stretches just south of 85th Street, skirting the edge of Studio Movie Grill's parking lot. It's been here for years, off and on. Now, they've cleaned it up three or four times, but people really dump a lot over here. It seems like it's just more and more each time I come, and it's getting out of hand. Studio Movie Grill owns the land. So whoever the property owner is, they should be responsible for keeping this area clean. If we can come over here and spend our money, you can come up here and keep it clean. Jamie Kluge, the area director for the Dallas-based Studio Movie Grill, says that's what they're trying to do. When most of the snow melted, he says they began cleaning the area up, even putting out these bags, hoping people will use them as refuse receptacles instead of the ground. Some sympathize with the theater. The property owner, not the one out here throwing trash on the ground. He can't control 
uh, what goes on just outside this perimeter. But the city thinks otherwise, putting Studio Movie Grill on notice last week to clean up or face a fine. It bothers me because it says a lot about the South Side. The theater's area director says 10 employees will get out there tomorrow to finish the cleanup along with four day laborers they plan to hire. After that, he says they'll assign two employees a week to keep the area clean. A streets and sanitation spokesperson says crews will go inspect a private site if a complaint is called in. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Rob. Yeah, they still have a little work on their hands. Oh, yeah. Dana, thanks.